why KPIs are not measures. KPIs or key performance indicators should be the vital bits of information that you use to understand whether your business or your team or your project is delivering on the strategic goals. The problem is that these are indicators, so they indicate performance, but they will never measure it completely. And sometimes we get this wrong. We assume that a measure measures everything holistically. So for me, a really good analogy is if you think about how we measure intelligence. So if you think about human intelligence, what we tend to do is we tend to run an IQ test. And then you complete the test and then you get a result and you might end up with a nice result and good, 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 strong IQ score. But the challenge here is that an IQ test only measures one of many different facets of human intelligence. It only measures our logical and mathematical reasoning. And it doesn't measure things like our emotional intelligence, it doesn't measure our spatial intelligence, our um, bodily, physical intelligence like hand-eye coordination, it doesn't measure our musical intelligence. So there are Let's assume we have six different types of human intelligence. And just think of this as a cube. So we have a cube with six sides. One side is our logical and mathematical reasoning. The other one is our emotional intelligence, our spatial awareness, our social intelligence, our musical intelligence, and so on. So the point I'm trying to make here is that an indicator, a KPI, is a bit like a spotlight, a torch that you're shining into a dark room. So what you want is you want to understand holistically how intelligent is a person, probably across those six different dimensions of human intelligence, right? The only tool we have is a torch. So we can shine this torch now into this cube. And when we do an IQ test, you're basically shining the torch onto just one of the sides of the cube. And the side is square, square, but your spotlight is round. So it's not even a perfect measure of this one dimension of human intelligence because we know that we can all train to pass IQ tests. So it's an imperfect measure of just one of those facets. And what we all want to do is switch on the light in this cube and say, okay, how are you doing? And spatial awareness and, and social intelligence and interpersonal communication and emotional intelligence and hand-eye coordination, all these different types, but we can't do that. We can only have indicators. And hopefully if you want to measure, let's say you want to recruit someone for a sales role, only, only measuring IQ is probably not good enough. You also want to measure some of the interpersonal skills, some of the emotional intelligence, so again, by understanding what you want to achieve, you can then design the right metrics, the right spotlights, and point them into the right direction. And this is exactly what I help companies do. I help them develop the right indicator, so we figure out what question do you really want to have an answer to, and then we find the right indicators, the right metrics, the right KPIs that help them answer those questions. And I also help them use performance management systems and their KPIs to inform decision making, to improve performance. And if you buy into this analogy that a KPI is simply an indicator that indicates how intelligent you are, because there's at, at a lower level there's a relationship between IQ and some of the other forms of intelligence. So it gives you an indication, but it doesn't give you a full picture. If you buy into this, it also means that we shouldn't link indicators to incentive systems. Because if I can't measure the whole thing and it leaves black spots, people can just simply deliver on what is lit up, what is measured, and ignore everything else. And for me, this is a bit like talking to your kids and say, okay, I want you to tidy your room, but what I what I will do is I will check this corner of the room at the end of the day. And if this corner is spotless, you will get a treat. We all know what's going to happen. 
you would come back at the end of the night, or at the end of the day, and all the toys would be rummed under the bed and into the cupboard, and the corner you, you said you would look at will be spotless. So this is what I do in, with organizations, helping them develop meaningful indicators, understanding some of the limitations of KPIs, finding better indicators, but aligning the processes to what indicators can actually do. If you want to learn more, head to my website at bernardmar.com where you can find templates for designing good indicators, where I have a KPI library that you can browse to find good indicators, but also lots of articles and tools that help you align the performance management processes in your organization to really drive performance.